Hello mga amigas! Hello everyone! Kumusta? Hope you're doing well today. So, I have just removed my acrylic set a while ago and I have dry cuticles around my nails that I need to clean up using my e-file. And I have white foams spreading onto the nail plate and that is called geridium and I need to clean it up well to avoid lifts. So I have pushed back already my cuticles and using my flame ceramic bits, this is thinner bit, it is highly recommended to avoid uh, drilling the side walls. And in this way, you will remove the pterygium perfectly, you will clean the cuticles perfectly without cutting your skin or over filing the nails. So with short strokes, step by step, and I clean it up from the side. And I just want to make sure that the sides are perfectly clean. There is no left over to region. And I don't press too hard into the skin and even to the natural nails. I'm just using 7000 RPM speed and I just let my bit to do the work. So this is the cuticle uh, bit ball. This uh, kind of uh, bit, it is a wide diameter. It's a round shape with a coarse grid that provide a safe and effective way to clean the epinecium and remove the hard skin above the nail plate. This one, it is perfect for removing the loose cuticles. You see that? It really removes the loose uh, dry skin lifted from the nail plate. I use alcohol as my dehydrating toner. You know, when the skin is uh, wet, it gets the skin peels off easily. And with this uh, alcohol, uh, it removes all the finest particles. So I just push back again the sides just to make sure that it is well cleaned, that it's that all the terrigium, the finest particles are removed perfectly. to cut it off and of course I don't overcut it I just cut enough to clean it up to keep my cuticles 
uh, sides clean and ready for the product application. So what I'm doing is I keep pulling my skin with my thumb in order for me to cut, to clean up the pterygium or the non-living tissue from the inside. So just using this file to make my nail smooth and soft on the corners and uh, shaping it round ready for the nail tips soft gel application. Use the buffer just to remove the slightly rough corners, make it smooth and they're ready so for soft gel nail tips uh, I'm going to use the Empower brand I have uh, soft gel tips ballerina and almond but I'm going to use the ballerina shape so I have the focus beam lead lamp wireless which I really love it and gel glue it is perfection so i will be having a short square so with this ballerina after i cut it it will be square shape so the nail tip has to fit sidewall to sidewall with minimal pressure make sure that the tip it is fit perfectly to the natural nails and this nail Ne need less glue because the apex is not that high the structure is more natural looking so we have to know that the higher the apex of the nail the gel it, it, it needs more gel so I don't need that kind of uh, tip because first and foremost I will have a short nail so having short nail it is much better if the apex is not that high so I need to file the sides for a perfect fit with my uh, with my index finger the tip is not that uh, fit properly so I need to file the sides and also my thumb I need to file the sides to fit perfectly Thank you.
alcohol is my best buddy to dehydrate my nails I just want to make sure that all the tiny particles are removed and dehydrate my nails properly I apply a thin layer of gel glue on my natural nails and just to make sure that the gel glue doesn't touch the skin or overflow around and a thin layer of gel glue on the gel tip then pull some at the bottom and spread it around then prepare your lead lamp hold the pressure and the gel will flow on its own Seal the free edge, then cure. gel glue on my nail and applied another thin coat on the nail tips and I need to pull some at the bottom to spread it around I think I need to put a little bit more yeah I think I need a little bit more then so prepare your focus beam lamp and hold the pressure and the gel oops I found a fiber a fiber on my nail so I need to remove my nail okay so when I remove my nail to remove this uh, dark fiber I need to scrape off the gel glue with the nail tips to avoid flooding the product on my nail so again I hold hold the pressure and the gel will flow on its own until the free edge then cure So another thin application of gel glue on my natural nails and uh, to my nail tips as well thin layer and always prepare your focus beam lamp before racking in the gel tips to your natural nails and you need to hold the nail at an angle until it lays parallel with your natural nail run through the free edge then cure <laughs>
set application, I need to cure my sets in a dome lead lamp to make sure that each angle of my nails are cured uh, properly. So these are my sets. There's no bubbles. It's so smooth and spotless. And I just love them. So using this uh, tip cutter to cut my soft gel nails, I just love this tip cutter because it's very sharp and it is perfect for uh, the gel tips. So since I have decided to have a shorter nails this time and square, so I will be using a sheer pink and white gel polish for my French. And I need to smoothen the corners, file them straight as perfect as possible you know it, when it's the nails are short it is nice to have it uh, shaped properly make sure that uh, all fingers are in the same length and on the same uh, shape so I'm using my uh, medium uh, ceramic bits to remove around the, uh, to clean around my cuticle lines because you know sometimes you can't really avoid that there is a product licks uh, around so I just want to make sure that the sidewalls are smooth and clean so this bit is just perfect to help me clean around gel tips I don't need to remove the shine before I apply the gel polish so this set is ready for gel polish application I'm using the same gel glue as my base coat so I have to apply a thin layer of this gel glue I make sure that it is close to the cuticles but doesn't touch the skin.
using a sheer pink with subtle glitters on it as my base with uh, of my French manicure so actually I wasn't able to record the first coat application my bad I thought I was uh, recording when I do the first coat but sadly not so this is the second coat of my base I like this kind of pink because it is sheer it's light pink it's like baby pink yet it's uh, it's glittery subtle glitters on it when I apply uh, polish I make it sure that uh, there is no product that touched on the skin I applied slowly but surely I consider that I don't have a wood stick to clean around so I just take my time to apply my polish perfectly so in French application I applied enough layer white to have a uh, very white effect for French and using my Kolensky flat brush to shape our deep smile line with acetone using acetone or alcohol I just moist my flat brush and swirl around the white gel to create a deep smile line French so I love this gel white gel polish that I have because it is rich the consistency is rich it's uh, it doesn't give like shadowy effect so I just moist my flat brush and swirl around the white polish to shape a deep smiley French. And again I need to clean the smile line make sure that there's no like shadowy effect around the pink base and using this flat brush we need to clean around the nails before we are going to cure
tough coat. So I'm using Empower No White Top Coat. Oh, I just love this uh, Empower No White Top Coat because it really shine and the shine is forever. It really lasts and the viscosity, it is just perfect. It levels by itself and when I apply top coat, I make sure that the application is not too thick yet, not too thin as well. And I make sure that I don't uh, touch the skin I don't put a lot of product on the brush to avoid flooding of the product towards the sidewalls We're done so look the shine so since there is like a little bit of product on the corners on the sidewalls and the free edge so I just need to slightly buff them off to have a softer smoother corners And the most satisfying, comforting part is the cuticle care. Using this cuticle oil, it's just so amazing. It feels so relaxing and wow, my nails looks great and it feels so natural. Wow, it is just feels wonderful. So thank you so much mga amigas. Thank you for watching. Salamat and till the next video. See you again later guys. Thank you so much mga amigas.